What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another BFR. So, game 35 in Vegas, January 8th at 9 p.m. I was thought I was going to be in for a long night. Turns out it's probably the shortest game of the year, funny enough. Hawks win. They beat Vegas 2-1, only third time in their history they beat in Vegas, once in 2020, once during the playoffs in 2020, and once now. Uh, they moved to 12-18-5. They can't beat Arizona, but they can beat the best team in the West. I don't know. Uh, they get outshot thirty-one to twenty-one. Out hit thirty to seven. Thirty. Oh no, they, they out hit Vegas thirty-five to seventeen. And Vegas uh, does better in the face-off circle, twenty-six to twenty-four. Chicago over one on the power play. Vegas none for none. That's why it was so quick. No penalties were called. Not many whistles through the first two periods. Connolly was in. Mitchell was in. Bodan was out. Uh, more line changes for Chicago. There was a tribute to Flurry before the game, and there were a lot of Hawks jerseys in the stands, which I can understand because I've been to Vegas at least four or five times, and I have family that lives there, so there's I know there's a lot of Chicago people there. Uh, Flurry saves 31 out of 32, Leonard saves 19 out of 21, and okay, let's we'll get right into this. Uh, I thought I mean shots were 32 to 30. Uh, so anyway. So, yeah, the tribute to Flurry before the game did a video of his time in Vegas. Uh, in the first, there's only two. There's only a few things I had to note. 1443, there's a Vegas goal to Ben Hudden, which was his first as a Vegas goal of night, and his first of the year uh, from Patrick to make it 1-0. Uh, the game was pretty balanced early, but even before that, it was pretty just back and forth. Uh, Curry should have chance denied. Hawks getting uh, present with several ch- with tons of ch- chances. Uh, they had the overall control of the puck, but Vegas had more shots in the first. McCabe had a good hit on Colasar, and uh, Smith had a chance that missed, and that was it. Oh, I had note in the first. We move on to the second. There was a good save on Marcia so a two-on-one, Kara and Carpenter, and they score. As it's at 15-22, it's a Chicago goal from Kara, his third of the uh, season from Carpenter to make it 1-1. Uh, there were not many shots at all during this time, and Vegas had a two-on-one that missed. There was a good block by Murphy. The Hawks' defense was doing really well this game. I'm not sure what happened, but it just appeared. Uh, Borgstrom was robbed right after that Kara goal. Flurry, good stick to break a breakaway, saved multiple Vegas chances. And this is probably as I, this is where I wrote down. This is the fastest game of the year. Uh, just no whistles, just back and forth, kind of fast game. Nothing was going on. The first two periods went by in an hour, and a, in less than an hour and a half, which was incredible. Uh, then the Vegas offside went uncalled, but at 10:03, it's a Vegas penalty to Dadnoff for tripping. It would be killed. And then there, it was a horrible power play. Like it was more of a Ve- Vegas just getting the puck and just dumping it and taking a laugh break dur- during it. That's really what it was. Uh, Connolly and Carpenter had chances that were saved. Murphy, good hit on Stone. And then at 5.39, it's a Chicago goal uh, deflected off Howden from Riley Stillman, his first of the year and first as a Blackhawk, from Stroman Kane to make it 2-1. Uh, a couple Hawks line changes that led to goals, and the Vegas crowd was getting very loud. Connolly fanned on a point-blank chance. To break and breakaway saved again. Uh, there had been sm- numerous scrambles in front of the Hawks' net throughout the game, and Flurry was able to get g- good positioning and um, just stop them all mostly. And then there was a good save by Leonard and Kubalik, fa- Kubalik fans on a shot, and then Hawks were pressuring. And where we go to the third, uh, Flurry had great positioning on a save. Taze nearly uh, succeeded a wraparound, uh, misfit line creating opportunities, and they nearly scored. The misfit line, if you don't know, was Jonathan Marcheseau, William Carlson, and Riley Stillman. Uh, that line, that top line for Vegas, has been there ever since the existence of Vegas. Uh, Strom nearly pulled off a pass of the year, trying to make a diving pass to Kane. Uh, uh, Vegas was pressuring. Uh, Hawks' defense was really showing up. They were blocking shots. They were getting the puck out of the zone. They were able to do stuff they usually don't do. Uh, Kubelik uh, was down on a block shot, on, a, on an own block shot. Uh, it was Murphy who shot it, and then Kubelik took the brunt of it. Uh, he went down. He got. He was limping off the ice with no pressure on a leg, but he would return. Uh, Doc nearly. Doc then nearly broke a leg falling. Luckily, he was fine. Uh, two on one for Kara and Carpenter again. It, it was stopped. Uh, two on one for Kane and Kurashev. They could not connect. McCabe tripping went uncalled, and then. Uh, the third had doubled the amount of whistles, and probably and then the first two periods combined, and then uh, it was probably like tripled or quadrupled by the end. 
Uh, Vegas was missing the net a lot. They missed the net a lot the entire game, and they still had mo- a lot more shots. Uh, Kurashev beat four guys for control of the puck by himself behind the Vegas net. It was a great effort. Uh, so was Marcheseau got hurt uh, and the play went the other way. He was able to get up and continue playing. Uh, Leonard pulled at 145. There was a great save by Fleury across crease. And then the Hawks win. Hawks win 2-1 against Vegas. And that's really... It was not many notes to take that game. It was pretty fast, pretty uh, good for a late-night game. Uh, not much movement in the standings. Florida and Tampa is switching off. Carolina Rangers and the Capitals switching off. These three teams switching off. Pittsburgh's 10-game win streak was ended. Uh, Edmonton has dropped two spots from L.A. and San Jose. And, yeah, there's really not much else that happened. Uh, these two, these three teams keep switching. Minnesota's starting to fall out of the race, which is funny because they were at the top of it for a while. And they went on a five-game losing streak, which is never a good thing. But, yeah, that's really all I have for you guys for this video. I got one more video the, uh, coming later. It's the uh, uh, second-to-last playoff series video. The last one will be tomorrow. But, yeah, that's all I have for you guys right now, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.